Hello and welcome to another Del Boy video and uh, I'm continuing my um, series of um, videos where I ask my friends to suggest a game and for me to play it and uh, I've asked them to choose a game that they think I would find challenge be quite fun uh, hopefully one I haven't seen before uh, or just be a complete git and uh, watch me die an awful lot or have a problem with it. Um, we seem to be getting the latter and uh, this one I'm sure is going to be no different than the others. Because <laughs> my, my friends are sods. Um, no, seriously. Um, I've asked my friend Ponder uh, for the third round to choose a third game. And he's chosen a game that I've played only on the VIC-20, believe it or not. Um, and uh, he wants me to play the Commodore 64 version. Um, he actually specifically stated, can you play this one on the Commodore 64? Um, so what's the game? Well, it's Radar Rat Race. Um, that's a very old game. And like I said, I played it on the VIC-20 and back in the day, you know, when I was a lot younger and back in 1982, um, I had immense fun with it. Um, what I'm going to think about it now, not so sure um, this many years on. Um, but it was it was sort of like a knockoff of an arcade game called Rally X. Only you change the cars and you've got a mouse. <clears throat> so I'm not quite sure um, how the smoke stream works when it's a mouse. Maybe it's farts. I don't know. Um, but we'll move to the video capture. You can see I've got it loaded up. Um, I don't think, if I remember rightly, that there was much in the words of sound other than a horrible tune that kept playing in the background. Now, if I remember rightly, um, it was one of the first games that had a had a tune playing in the background while you played it on the VIC-20. Um, so anyway, um, I've talked enough. Let's uh, have a little go. Um, the idea, uh, by the way, because I've played this before, on the VIC-20, is you go around a maze trying to pick up cheese. Um, there, The reason it's called Radar, I think, is on the right. You can see where the cheese is, um, not showing the maze, which makes it a little harder. And you're chased by three... Um, well, in this, it'll be mice. Um, in Transam, it was, you know, three cars. So let's have a little go, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be shit at it because um, it took me a bloody long time on the VIC-20 to get anywhere in this game. So press F1. As I fall, it's playing a tune. I'll avoid those cats as well. It little, takes a little bit of time to sort of like get used to looking at the radar and also looking at the maze. Ah, oh, all the way to the top of the maze. There they were. Those other mice. Oh, that one. Got it. Now just be very careful. Oh. Trap myself in. I tend to do stupid things like that. Um, 
dust that you saw coming out there is basically sort of like confuses them. I, I think it's a couple of seconds. Oh, I picked up a two of cheeser. Um, if I remember rightly, that means that the next piece I get is double the points, but that was the Vic 20 version. Oh, flaming hell. Oh, look at that. I had one piece to go. Told you I was crap. But anyway, let's have a go again. I'm bound sure to do equally a bad as again. Also best to have a better joystick than a controller on this. In fact, probably use keys. I've never been very good with keys though. And uh I nearly need to get my arcade arcade joystick out again. Oh, see, I went down and it didn't. up. Oh, now we're in trouble. Just about got out of that. <laughs> to say, the tune would drive you nuts on Christmas Day if you got this game. Imagine all the parents. Turn that down! <laughs> There's a piece of cheese around there, actually. Yeah, I want to go up. Oh, right. Friggin' Al, worse. Needed free. Hell. And there we go. <sighs> I was looking at the map. This is doing, going really bad. Look at that. The hell, that was terrible. And there we go. I thought, oh, if I put the stars right in front of them, maybe I'll get somewhere. Does it? Down. 
piece again crappy controller to use uh on this game wouldn't it a pl and s oh bloody hell keys are terrible uh, persevere just a matter of time before my skills get better <laughs> And unfortunately, you're going to have to persevere with me. <laughs> oh. Nice, actually, that the, the map actually um, doesn't change much. I mean, I've started this game now, and that square box that I keep going in um, has been the same. Oh, bloody hell. Three lies all lost in a couple of seconds. Here we go again. I actually didn't do too badly that time. that cat. Eh? What's all that about? Oh, bloody hell. of bastards, including me, in this game. <laughs> Look at that. Bloody cat there. I come down. There's a bloody mouse after me. Right. Never go. Honestly. Cheap little game like this. And I'm shit. You're all bastards, though, are you? <laughs> so's the first, so's my mate for suggesting this. Really, really hates me. Oh, 
But, um, yeah, um, the arcade, Rally X, um, did play that. And, uh, really nice game. Look at that, game over. Blame it out. Right. Enough of that. Let's do a roundup. I'll go back to my camera. Oh, wrong camera. There we go. So, Radar Rat Race. Um, fond memories on the VIC-20. Um, fond memories, really, of playing the arcade game, Rally X. And that one's not a bad version. Um, it's not really pushing the Commodore 64's capabilities, but I looked at the bottom and I was surprised. It said 1982. So, basically, that's a game that came out the year that the machine did in America. Because um, I believe we got it in Britain late 82 or even early 83. Um, and so, to be quite honest, Commodore would have probably put that in as a pack, packed-in game or one of the first games ever released for it. Um, so, of course, there. It's 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 easy, isn't it? Convert something that you've done on an earlier machine, in this case the Vic Twenty, over to the Commodore sixty four. Because um, to be quite honest, if you had a look, there is very little graphics in that game. In fact, the only graphics I could see was the cheese and the mice and the stars. The rest could be done with keyboard graphics. Um, even the layout on the front screen is just stars and blocks and so forth so not terrifically graphically impressive sonically awful with that um three blind mice um and i didn't see anything that told me that i could change it to sound effects but if you think about it as i've said a, a lot of times before it's not about the graphics it's about the gameplay and as you could see it's a challenging game and quite a fun one you know you've got something that stops the mice or stuns them you've got a, a challenge in getting the pieces of cheese in the maze um and a time limit as well so good choice uh from my mate ponder uh colin brilliant uh you're still a bastard uh, you know full well that i was going to do shit at that and uh i'm going to say with that um Hopefully, there's going to be another one in the round three stakes. Um, and uh, I hope, hopefully, you found some entertainment in this. And uh, see you at the next one. So, salute and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.